Turn 10. I never thought I'd have to fit filming around my dog snoring. <laughs> okay. Must have heard me. So, turn 10. Catastrophic loss limit up to 20. We're at 8. So we haven't got any problems there. No landings. So we go... We've got a little bit more than half a deck. There's all the cards up there. Yeah, we should be right. All right, first event. Here they come. Counterattack. Get the real book. All Japanese units remove disruptions and remove their depth markers. So all the depth markers go and the disruption goes. Next phase. For each tank unit, draw a counter-attack depth marker. I mix them up at the start of the game, so I'll go from top to bottom. Reveal it. Reveal it. Reveal it. Reveal it. Select up to four Japanese non-tank units within three hexes of at least one Japanese tank unit and not in an artillery position. So that will be, I think from memory, that's the only one that's not in an artillery position. They're outside of three. He's outside of three, so him. him okay flip them remove the unit's depth marker and return it to the pile glad I didn't flip it then draw a counter attack depth marker and place it on top top to bottom enough to make him a four um, strength remove disruption markers if present okay then so that's the event next is fire card and we do the counter-attackers first. Conduct the counter-attack action beginning with the CA unit closest to a US landing beach and if equally close, the furthest south. So we'll use the hex lines like that to determine south further south and then closest to a US landing beach all right so he would be closest to a US landing beach unoccupied position no us no so nearest position to moving unit he will move there one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So he's next. He will go to there, presumably. Yes, closest, closer to a US landing beach, unoccupied position. He. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, four. He will move to there. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's the next to move, can't do a damn thing. He's the next to move. Closest to the moving unit, westernmost hex. So he will go to there. And he, whoops, I didn't show you that. He can't go anywhere. He was the next closest to a US landing beach. Then it's him, and he will go, if there's two to choose from, the westernmost, that's the westernmost, and then he will go to there. Okay, you always gotta stay on your toes when you've got, jeez. Doing counterattacks, so we've got six counterattacking. Okay, now we can have a look at the card. What nastiness do we get with that? Purple M, machine gun fire. So he will kill the engineer and he'll hit him. Wow, all the way out there. Not what we wanted when the counter attack's coming. So that's that. Mortifier and Musters. They fired. He can fire. Can't hit the tank because he hasn't got the armored symbol. He's outside a mortar range. So that's purple. Blue. Outside a three and it's an A action ambush one two three four no Oh okay action up here if US units in field of fire and it's a non-artillery position is there a blue artillery position? I don't see any that's a blue artillery position. So he's gonna fire and look for a unit out here in the clear. He's already been, oh no, it was him that got hit. So he could take here, can he take him? He could hit him. That's not clear him uh, he's a triangle and hit him so he's going to get hit by artillery fire another catastrophic loss a15 got hit. He's the dead one. He's the dead one. So it must have been like that. He's the dead engineer. So that's blue artillery. Blue. Not an artillery. Way outside of ambush. So it's this one up here. He is going to assault closest in his field of fire. Boof. Mm, I thought they'd be out of range of all of this. What do we got? Oof. Well, at least no CCs. So, one for each unit. One for four strength, 
one for attacking, one for jungle. We get four for the pips, one for the hero. He came from blue, we're in a non-position hex, so it's blue. He misses. We hit. Good. He's disrupted, he loses a card. He hits us. Step loss, lose a card. Ooh, we hit him. Good night to the depth marker. He loses a card, which would have been a hit. Oh, he misses. Come on, come on, come on. Miss, but we get heroism, which is another card. Oh, come on, blue. Yes. Got him. Eliminated units box. That turned out rather handy, although... We are now sitting in an intense fire zone and disrupted. But that just cleared that problem. Unless the next event fills it up. Okay, brown R now. Uh, resupply, redeploy, reinforce. Resupply. Well, he'll lose his disruption. He will redeploy to there. And that vacates an artillery position. All happening. Brown. Resupply if units are in field of fire. Nope. Redeploy. Nope. Resupply already has nothing in his fire zone, can't redeploy. Well, action packed, action packed fire phase, and we took a few hits in that one. But oh, I think we dished out more than we gave. Next event. A depth mark at a one US unit. Why couldn't it just be something exciting like a hero or you know something something different? So depth marker. Well it's not gonna go to him because he's cut off. So it'll either go to the green one A14 or it'll go to A17, so it'll go to A14, right when we were about to have a go at him. So he'll get the depth marker that this one over here lost, so we will eventually find out what's going on, <laughs> this one, <laughs> when he went into counterattack stance. Alright, HQ phase. I will now lift him. He's done what I wanted him to do. That's 5th Regiment. I will keep 7th currently. So they each go up one. Both of command posts have a two range. Garrisons. I think we've got all of our garrisons. Uh, we can put one in there. Richie, my God. All right, might as well start over here. And I'll just pause while he's snoring his head off. 
Okay, snoring has ceased. Before I do anything, I am going to spend an action and take that gift. And then move him onto there and move him to there. All right. Remove his disruption and we can now cube them. have demolitions and flamethrower he is doubled to six ten to six with the weapons is unit alone gonski took it can't reinforce or resupply the only problem we've got is what happened in the last game he redeployed into it so is there anything we can do about that? I don't think there is. Hmm. All right. So he is done. Maybe I should have just hit him with the eight. Uh, yeah, great in hindsight. If he had been a four strength unit. All right, here. Nine plus five nine plus five is fourteen plus that tank seventeen. Rubbish. All right, well, we definitely doubled him. So he is disrupted. What am I going to do with the one under him? Because he can now be cubed. They're all cubed. him yet probably not So that's that done. Here. Action.
Okay, so that's the two actions done. Yep, now we're down here. This is now looking decidedly problematic. So, let's have a think about what they're going to do. He is closest to a beach. So he's not going to be able to go anywhere. How come, what happened with him? He redeployed after the counterattack. Okay. All right. He's going to attack that position. But it'll start with the southernmost first. So he will hit that one. I presume. So we can remove his disruption. Okay, barrage, need purple, purple circle, didn't get either. That's it. That's turn 10. 